Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. So in this lecture, we will try to see what are the different types of building based on the usage. And also we'll try to see what are the different types of building systems that we have, like load bearing system, flat slab systems. And we'll try to understand a, a bit about the different building systems, okay? So this will be around the 10 minutes video. So just watch it till the end so that you get a good knowledge and subscribe to my channel so that in future you get all these videos. Yeah subscribe it nothing you will not lose anything if you subscribe to my channel i see a lot of students they don't subscribe you will just enjoy my lectures so do that nothing loss will happen and that will help me okay coming to the types of building based on the usage normal are the residential house building that you usually see like a 2 bhk home a 3 bhk home or let's say a g plus 1 story building g plus 2 story building that's how it is so normal house you can see it's only a ground story building what we have Okay, huh? from inside, if there is one more, it will be a G plus one story. That is ground plus one story we call the residential building. Okay, yeah. Second one, what we have is the residential apartment buildings. Like you can see all these things. No, it's a apartment construction. It's a house only, residential only, but it's an apartment construction. Like we have, let's say a G plus five story building, G plus 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 story buildings and all. That's That comes under the residential apartment building. Uh, if it is... Uh, 40, 30 story, 40 story, it's a high rise building, what we try to call. Next comes your commercial buildings like the malls, the shopping complexes, and all you go, right? We call them as a commercial complexes or the commercial buildings. After that, next we have is next what we have is the industrial building, like the warehouse, process manufacturing plants, uh, manufacturing factories, nuclear power plants, and all. No, all this will come under the industrial buildings. Okay, so this is a warehouse what you have. So uh, you are using it for the industry purpose. So these things are made from the uh, PV structures and all. So all these are your nuclear power plant. Those things will come in the industrial buildings and all. Then next will be your infrastructure buildings. So the infrastructure buildings are like you know the metro stations. Then we have this airport. You have this water tank construction, sewage treatment plant. All these things will come under infrastructure buildings. Now, now whatever I have told you, it's only for the building. Apart from that, we have uh, your this thing, roads we have, we have bridges and all. In bridges, we have steel structure bridge and all. So again, we'll not get into that. So this is for basically for the building uh, classification. This is how we are going to do. Okay. Now, apart from that, we'll try to see what are the types of building systems. The first one, what we have is a load bearing structural system, which we used to use previously. Right. What we do is we make use of these laterite stones and all. And then we usually try to construct a small G or a G plus one story building. And here you cannot give a big space and all. OK. And uh, that is how and you cannot give too much openings and all because the entire load will come on the stone only. So that is here too much a big opening signal you cannot give. If you give big openings, then there is no stone in that area. Then the load transfer will not happen. So that is why it's called as load bearing structural system. Okay. Next, after that, in India, of course, we don't use such kind of system. If it is a small resort, if you go towards that Goa side and all, we use wooden structural system. But normally for house and all, we don't use. So it's called the wooden structural system where the entire structure is constructed with the help of wood. But if you go to the foreign countries like Japan, uh, US and all, there you find a lot of uh, wooden structures over there. And wooden structure has a different uh, code book also. There is a wood code book. Uh, structure engineers use it for the design of the wood structures and all. But in India, we don't use it, at least for the house building and all, we don't use it. A resort project and all to bring that, uh, uh, you know, feel and all people are constructing. But for normal house usage, usage, we don't do that. Okay. Next is a frame structural system. This is what we use nowadays. I mean, for most of the buildings, we go with a framed structural system. That means here, we don't have any foundations and all. Okay, there is nothing like beam, column and all in the load bearing. In the frame structure, what happens? You have a footing, then you have a column, then you give a plinth beam, then you give a slab. In this way, you can raise like this is your basement, let us say, your ground floor, first floor, third, second floor, third floor. But in load bearing and all, you cannot have a G plus three, G plus four and all. And you cannot change uh, the uh, size of your room and all. But whereas in the frame structure, you can easily do what will happen? The load transfer will happen from the slab to the beam. The beam will, tra the beam will transfer it to the column. The column will again uh, bring it down onto the footing. The footing will transfer it to the soil and soil is going to resist that. So this is a load path. It's called as a frame structure. And here we can have a bigger openings. We can have a bigger size of the room. 
uh, and also we can change the columns also for example i have one column here let's say in this particular floor i want one column to come here i can give a floating column here but whereas in load bearing and all that option we don't have we cannot make we cannot uh, change uh, you know uh, plans and all abruptly in the first floor and all whereas here we can do that okay now whatever houses and all you usually see they all are your frame structure if it is a old 40 50 years old house still we have load bearing structure but whatever we are constructing nowadays everything is a frame structural system next one what we have is a flat slab structural system so what is this flat slab so in the flat slab what happens no if you see here we have a beam right in the flat slab you don't get to see a beam so what happens we have a column so this column is attached to a drop panel and then we have a slab here okay so where do we use this normally if you go to the small sand all no? and if you go to the basement in the parking area whenever you see at the top you find such type of systems usually for the commercial buildings we use where you want a larger span even few of the metro stations also we uh, we use a flat slab only where you want see here what happens generally when you go for a frame structure this column to column distance from this column to this column usually we try to keep three to six meter usually but when you're going for a commercial building when you're going to the mall and all there you want a bigger space so that more people <clears throat> can go more people can walk and all so let's say if your one column is here the next column may be at a distance of let us say eight or ten meter and all so when you have such big span and all no whatever structural system will come above that like your beam the slab thickness everything will change uh, that in thickness will more thickness is required so in that case we have different structural system we go with the flat slab system so this is actually given from punching shear point of view okay again there is a concept behind all these things what is punching shear and all it will not get into that i'm just giving an overall view okay that is how we try to give so your column will be there you give a drop panel and then the slab thickness slab is going to come you don't find a beam in this particular uh, structural system so this is called as a flat slab you can see it here okay you don't find any beams if you find also it will be at the outer side inner side we don't give any beam got it yeah apart from that next what we have is a pre-tensioning and post-tensioning structural system uh, when you have uh, these things are actually used in the commercial buildings only like again mall construction yeah maybe uh, big uh, theaters and all when you go okay in that case we go with the pre-tensioning and post-tensioning structural system here what we do we are giving a normal reinforcement bar along with it we'll put this tendons and all you studied a subject called pre-stressed uh, in your engineering days and all no you studied about pre-tensioning post-tensioning you studied about the uh, tendons and all so this tendons will have a good uh, tensile strength this normal rebar we have uh, 500 550 whereas this will have 1000 1500 2000 tensile strength and when you use this uh, systems what will happen the thickness of the slab will not be too much if you don't use this the thickness will be so much in the commercial building for the load it is going to take in that case we can go with the pre-tensioning and the post-tensioning system pre-tensioning means you are going to uh, stress this tendon before the pour of the concrete post-tensioning means you are going to stress this particular tennis after pouring of the concrete okay Fine. After that, we have a prefabricated structural systems. That is, nowadays, what is happening? Of course, normal house we don't use, but a uh, few people, what they do is, they prepare such kind of uh, units at a factory. Then they are going to bring it onto the site. And there we are going to do the erection of all these things. But in India, very few places you can find prefabricated structural systems. Next, we have a, what we have is a structural steel uh, structure yeah a steel structural system if you see this a foot over bridge and all everything is a steel structure here we are not using any concreting and all so everything is a steel structure you have to do these are called as a vertical bracings these are your columns then we have flanges we have web and all okay these are your checkered plates and all so that is how it is apart from that if you look at the bridge and all no all these are your steel structure only okay of course this pier and all will make from concrete only but apart from that, this uh, whatever shape they have given it here, all these things are made from the steel structures. Okay. Next, what we have is a pre-engineered building. So in the pre-engineered building, again, it's a steel structure only. But here we use a plate sections, like, okay, three plate sections we use. So we have this column, we have this called as a rafter, and these are your roof sheetings and all. These are your wall cladding. So we go with the PEB structure where if suppose like we see this flip cart warehouse is there, right? So they require a huge space. Normal our uh, frame structure and all is not possible there. You require big space uh, for the movement of the vehicle and all for uh, storing your goods and all. In that case, we go with the pre-engineered buildings and all. Okay, I have a course on PEB also somebody interested to learn you can enroll in my course of course yeah
that's it next one what we can see nowadays is called is my one structural system so what is my one will do usually what we do normal structural system normal high rise building what we do we put column then we put uh, beam we put slab and all so this is how we try to do it's a bare structure what we have then wherever you have this space no we are going to construct the block work or brick work this is what we try to do in the high rise buildings and all but nowadays we have a we have this structural system called as my one so in my one what happens each and every floor completely you are going to construct like for example if you see here you, you are not going to use any brick work block work and all this entire one particular floor we are going to do the complete concreting your wall everything is the rcc only here what happens all these are your rcc brick work block work will be separate whereas here what we do entire one floor will be made up of concrete only the construction will happen first within 10 days within a span of 8 to 10 days you can raise one floor there and uh, it is a uh, uh, useful for high rise buildings and all so you can see this house also no this is one house where they use this my one shuttering you can see you, you cannot see any this openings here everything is concrete only here okay so if you see some high rise buildings and all nowadays everyone is going for a my one building structural system so these are the different structural system that i've explained apart from that there might be many other things whatever good knowledge i had through that uh, i've explained you a lot of things now for someone who really wants to learn all these things you can enroll in my course uh, you can download my civil brains app there's one free course for 15 days you can enroll in this course and try to see to what level I teach. And if you feel I'm the right person to teach you uh, to get all this knowledge, you can enroll in my complete construction manager mastery course, or you can go for my six in one combo course. The reason why I tell you to enroll in the course is if you don't enroll in the course, your knowledge is not going to improve. And if you start to learn on your own, it will take you a long time. It took me almost seven to eight years. In spite of that, also, there are many things which I don't know. So why should you waste for another eight to nine years and learn it on your own when somebody can teach? Of course, I'm going to take money for that because I'm investing my time. I'll be there to help you out. I have to give you access on the app. I cannot do everything on the free. For the free, you can watch my YouTube videos. But in YouTube, I'll not put all the videos. Straightforward. Got it? Yeah. So you can enroll in the course and I'll show you the content what I teach. First, I'll show you the reviews. I've shown it many times. But every time new students come to my uh, come to watch my videos, I'll I'll be showing you the same review. Somebody who is uh, who who doesn't like to see, you can quit my video and go to some other channel. And somebody who wants to learn all these things, you can check the reviews. Okay, yeah. See here, uh, he's one of my students who had given a review, a really comprehensive course, not just any marketing course, very informative, highly rec recommended. So you can go through all these reviews. The the reason why I'm showing you the review is so that you get an idea to what level I teach. You see the content. That's it. I got a job abroad in my first interview. Uh, now I'm in Saudi Arabia. Okay. Uh, your co thank you so much, sir. Your work is awesome because your explanation is very good. So I have shown these reviews many times, but still you can go through all these reviews. I wanted to thank you for your valuable lectures and videos, which have been really helpful to me in my civil area. I have gained more, more knowledge from you than from my college because of the way you instruct us. You can't find uh, this kind of teaching anywhere and all. Okay, I'll just run through all these reviews. Just see all the reviews. Okay. And then I'll explain you about the about my course. Uh, what you'll get to learn and all okay somebody who has enrolled in my course no problem somebody who wants to enroll and thinking to enroll better enroll in my course only rather than spending it somewhere else and not getting that level of knowledge better enroll in my course only and you have to enroll that is the reason i'm telling yeah so let me go to the six in one combo course if you click on that course and if you go to the content so i have a course both in hindi and english language you can click on english language and so there i'll be teaching you the complete site exhibition Whatever I've explained, you know, those things I'll be teaching in my site engineer mastery course, where I'll teach you the complete site execution right from the start, center line marking, each and everything. Even if you don't know anything about engineering, civil engineering, after enrolling in my course, I'll give you that knowledge, which nobody else can do it on online. So you can see all these things. I've used and explained. Each and everything I've explained about the complete building execution, how it has to be done right from center line layout to the complete handing over. And that's the first thing. After that, we'll uh, also try to learn uh, about the drawing reading. Uh, so in the drawing reading, what, what will happen is almost a 30 hours lecture where I've taken more than 20 plus drawings where we will learn to read G plus three residential building, structural design, G plus two residential building, G plus one commercial building, G plus one hostel building. Then we'll also learn how to place the columns and all. We'll learn the structure engineering concepts. We'll learn the industry building drawing. 
we learn the interior and the plumbing drawings we learn how to read the basement plus ground plus three story building we learn to read the airport drawings we learn to read four basement plus ground plus 26 story building so these are the things what you try to learn and apart from that we'll also understand the basic things about structure engineering how to decide the footing size okay what is one way shear what is two way shear we'll also try to understand what is piles what are under him pile what are the types of pile how to decide the minimum spacing of the pile, how to read the pile drawings and all these things will be covered here. And after that, once you finish this, we'll go to the quantity takeoff. We'll learn to prepare such kind of Excel sheets. We'll try to find what is the total cost of the structure, how to find it, how to prepare the BOQ, how to find the plastering quantity, each and everything. You'll be preparing all these Excel sheets, which I've taught it. In the same way, you'll learn to prepare the bar bending schedule for the footing, for the column, for the beam, for the slab, each and everything I've taught in my course. You can learn all those things through my uh, bar bending schedule course and then we'll also learn about uh, BOQ preparation and all then we'll go for the interview preparation course where I'll tell you the interview questions we'll learn about concrete technology we'll learn about MS Excel this entire course is almost 230 plus hours of the content which you can enroll in the course the price is usually 5000 you get a 1000 rupees off sometime you can buy it for 4000 rupees and whatever amount you are going to spend no, in the next two to three months you'll recover it through your first job that much guarantee i'll give and that is a thing what you have seen in the reviews also all the students who have given the review you can see them uh, one of my students got a job in he got a job in soba construction okay you can see he got a job in dubai so there are many students uh, those have got job again i'll not tell you that through my course you'll get a job Ah, but I'll give guarantee that after finishing my course, you can go and face any interview technically and you'll get selected. That much confidence you can have on me and you can have on my teaching and you can see all these things. Only app where you can learn everything related to civil engineering. Okay. You can see all these things. That is how it is. Yeah. So uh, do like and subscribe to my channel and download Civil Brains app. Enroll in the free course. Try to see how I teach. Try to see where you are, to what level you need to reach okay try to see i upgrade your knowledge so that you can go to a better position and you can do all these things again i'll not teach you everything for free and uh, you can enroll in my complete course in one rupee don't expect to learn a 10000 rupee course and a 5000 rupee course in one rupee i never teach that uh, you enroll in the complete course upgrade your knowledge and you'll be, uh, go to a better position and you'll have a good knowledge also uh, i'll see you back in the next lecture thank you